sexy now. <laughs> Guys, I'm currently in the toilet. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I know, like, you're probably confused right now. If you don't talk to me on a daily basis, you're definitely confused right now. Or if you're just watching me. But I don't think there's anyone who just watches me. So basically, get ready with me for my first day at a new school. Don't even want to talk about it. I'm a little bit scared. I'm very scared, actually. I feel sick to my stomach right now. Like, I've been excited, but like, I'm very scared. And I'll explain briefly. I'll briefly explain why we're doing this. If you guys don't know, I have a hill sax fracture in my shoulder right now. But I haven't been wearing my sling, so I'm not gonna wear it today. And I've been like, okay. <laughs> copyrighted every single video even when I don't play music which makes no sense and I don't feel like linking all the songs like I'm, <sighs> I'm not even playing my playlist I just told Alexa play music and then he wants to play dumb music so my playlist is way better so I don't even care oh nice let's try this oh I dropped it on my foot. I still had makeup on from like two days ago, but I washed my face and I took my makeup off and I toned my face every day. But my skin has been so good. Look at it. So, I'm sure you guys are still confused. So, basically, I go, I've been going to school that like is like 20 minutes away from my house and out of my, out of the district. Basically, the school that I've gone to my whole life is a little bit farther from this school that I'm transferring to and there's reasons for it, like family problems that have been going on like for a few weeks now and I have not been to school. I haven't gone to the school in like, I wanna say like two, three weeks. Like I haven't gone to school just, not just because, but like I just haven't gone in a really long time. So like stuff happened with my sister and my sister drives. So I have no ride to this school every day. So I really have, like, I don't know. I just, I went one day last week to school and then the week before I didn't go. And then this week I obviously didn't go. Oh my God, of course. Oh, my primer never drips off my head. So I don't know why we're doing this. 
this today. It's just like telling me we're gonna have such a bad day today. So I'm very nervous, but like the school that I'm transferring to is my old school's rival school. The school that I'm transferring to is my old school, should I call it my old school? Because like I, it's still my school, is it not? I guess it's not, but. It's my arrival school. Like I have this school's, my new school's name on a bunch of shirts from my old school saying like beat this school and like the, their mascot with like a big X over it. So this is gonna be so fun. Just it's gonna be a traitor. But I have a friend who, well, I have a few friends who went to my old school and that transferred to this school. So, I'm gonna see them, which is gonna be fun, I think, hopefully. What the? I'm not understanding this, but it's okay. I'm not really upset because I think it was time for a change. Like I've been at this school and I've known these people like my whole life. So it's kind of like I'm having a new change and I'm gonna have fun and hopefully I've heard that the people here are much nicer. So I hope that really is the case because I really don't wanna get bullied. Cause I haven't gotten bullied in like a while. And I don't think I'm gonna handle it well if I do get bullied. I might cry. Because I'm a very sensitive person. My brows are not round today. I might have to fill them in later. I'm gonna go into like a little bit more detail because I really didn't say much about what's been happening. Um, so basically my sister moved out. Did I say that? Pause. Did I say that? I'm not too sure if I said that or not. This, okay, so I think I might know a decent amount of people or decent amount of people might know me but then it's like people might not know like they might be like who is this girl like i've never heard of her before but then there's people who could be like oh i know her because like people just know me from people and from cheer because i'm a cheerleader on varsity and i've been on varsity since eighth grade so people know me from that of course um, so I'm scared, but I have a few friends that I can talk to. When I get there, I have to go get my schedule and I'm going to get a tour of the school because I've never, like I have cheer competitions in this school, but like I've never actually gone to school there, obviously, because this is like, okay, obviously no, like what are you talking about? That was just so stupid. I can't believe I just said like, that. What the heck? Like, obviously, I didn't go to school there. Like, this is... So, basically, my sister moved out and was living with her father. And, like, the schedules, like, clash. Like, my mom's work start and my school start for my old school. They clashed really badly. So, um... Like, there was no way, unless she took me to school at like seven o'clock in the morning, which I was not doing, and she wasn't doing either every single morning, because she already has to be at work at like early. So I wasn't like, we just weren't doing that. That just wasn't a thing. And I literally had a nightmare last night. Okay, let me tell you my dream. So there's this, this, this guy named Mr. McGovern at my school and my business class he's like the head of the business like business department or whatever and 
he like came up to me he came up to me in my new school and um he was like there's like a whole bunch of things you need to make up your grades are bad because i haven't been to school in weeks which is probably what's gonna happen my grades probably got transferred over and they're probably all failing grades but like whatever back to what i was saying um this guy comes up to me and he's like you have a lot of stuff to make up like your grades are bad and then i'm just like okay well thanks what do i have to make up can you print it out that's literally what i said to him and um he's like yeah of course i don't even know why i'm telling you this because there's no meaning to that but i just had a nightmare and i don't want to be dealing with all that extra stress at a new school like oh making up all this work or like trying to get extra credit so that my grades are passing but I guess I have to kind of like it's just like bound to happen when I'm with you how can I snooze next the moment My sister's here right now though, because she like comes back and then she like leaves again. And my mom transferred me before she was even back, before she even came back the first time, so it's kind of dumb. took off this whole thing but it's okay robert keeps sending me reels of like monkeys every single day and you might be like why i guess the same thing every day and he like harasses me to look at them which is kind of funny Okay, that one's definitely lifted. Do I look crazy? Because I'm literally like this. But like, I have to. Because I can't look up. It just gets me mad. Okay, I'm ready for school, guys. Do you like it? I'm just joking. So... I like have a few friends at my old school like I was like already losing a lot of my friends kind of because stuff has been happening and I've just like been very distant and I feel very bad for the people that I've ghosted but I don't know sometimes like sometimes things happen like I've been going through a lot and I'm sure a lot of people have been going through a lot too. Like I'm not just like making excuses for myself, but I'm just trying to like explain a little why things have been the way they've been. But like no love lost for any of the people that I've like stopped talking to because if something happens, obviously I'm still always going to be there for them. And like, I didn't really tell many people that I was leaving schools. Like I literally told the people that I used to eat lunch with every day. And then we had one, we had a, um, we had lunch together one last time because we used to have lunch together like the whole year. And then I went away to Florida for for nationals and then after that like I just stopped eating lunch with them I don't know why I just did this is gonna be an experience 
experience. Okay guys, so, I kind of want to wear my hair back, but I don't want to get questions. It's my outfit. I literally had to tie a shoelace back here and roll my pants. And they're cargoes. This is my outfit. But I have to find my shoes, I lost them. Okay guys, so, I'm out of breath, but I'm gonna like either figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair, and I'm gonna go put my phone on the charger because it's dying, so I'll be back when I'm fully ready. Hi guys, Chloe's here. I'm ready. I'm so scared. This is my outfit. This shirt is from Target. These pants are from Shein. This is from H&M. And shoes are from Flight Club. So, yeah, I'm scared. And that was completely different because everyone believed me in the end. Sorry. That's probably why you said that. That took that. a dark turn. This is no longer Melody's channel. This is my channel. And today I'm going through my first day of school <laughs> and I'm pretty nervous, you know. I think I, I like it here, but I'd rather be back where I was. Would you really? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, my day is scary. It's okay. Um, first period I have photography and it's okay. And then, I got lost like twice <laughs> and, and some rando helped me and then he found me in the hallway again and he's like, you're still lost. Like, no, I wasn't lost the whole period, obviously, but second period is okay. It's keyboarding. Third period's chemistry, it's so bad. Like, a teacher seems weird. <laughs> And then this tall kid sat right in front of me. I couldn't see the board. And then fourth period, I had gym, and I just stood there, and people kept hitting me with their balls. With their That's crazy. <laughs> Ouch. People kept hitting me with their balls when they were playing hockey. <laughs> hockey with balls. Um, and now I'm at lunch. I want to go home. So I'm okay, kind of. Just a little bit scared. Oh, and somebody held the door for me and then laughed. His friends laughed when I said thank you. Like, how is thank you funny? What's good, what's good? Tone for the grind. Hit me up. Add me. Don't add, Actually, don't add, don't add, don't add him. Don't add him. His, don't, his don't. girlfriend's crazy. <laughs> Um, I'm going home now, and my day was so poop, and look what just happened, I break my nail. So guys, I'm home now, today was alright, I was really like scared and excited. But like the whole day I was really scared and I just didn't really have that great of a day. But it's okay. Hopefully things will get better and hopefully I make new friends because I haven't made any new friends. And yeah, hopefully I learn my way around this school because I haven't learned at all. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.